from a designated tent city to a new village, we've covered the city of Lawrence's unique efforts against homelessness in the past few years. People need us to save lives. Housing people with supports is a solution. Think outside the box and um, don't count on the same old solutions. Well, that last woman has certainly lived by that advice. KSHP 41's Lily O'Shea Becker shows us the latest efforts to share the voices of those experiencing homelessness. Earlier this year, the city of Lawrence established the new Homeless Solutions Division Department with Misty Bosch Hastings leading its efforts to end chronic homelessness. And just this month, she's helped launch initiatives, including a new podcast to amplify the voices of those directly connected to the unsheltered community here. The Collaborative Solutions podcast launched two weeks ago. Misty wants it to shed light on what's changing in Lawrence's homeless community. The only um, voices that I was hearing in the community around homelessness were um, not positive. And there were a lot of positive things happening, but nobody was talking about that. Four experts with decades of experience on homelessness in Topeka and Lawrence will host the podcast. It will feature those experiencing homelessness and those working to end it in Lawrence. Host Barry Feeker says the podcast could answer the community's questions on its growing homeless population. If we don't understand what's going on, we create our own story. There's a lot of different creation of stories of what's going on in every community around the country right now about this expansion of homelessness. Misty attributes Lawrence's growing homeless population, which grew 51% from 2022 to 2023, to housing prices and the city's low vacancy rate. Additionally, homeless individuals from other cities, counties, and even states have settled in Lawrence because of the robust services provided. There was um, no system in place that was recognizing that we can't take on um, individuals from just anywhere, that we have to prioritize this, um, our own population here. But she says things are changing. We did things differently this year than we've ever done before. Like developing a new outreach team, advocating for funds to expand low barrier shelters, and prioritizing homeless individuals who are from Lawrence. Barry and Misty attribute the success to the city and Douglas County's collaborative funding and attention toward the issue. I just felt like I couldn't lose um, when I was coming here to, to, to create solutions and to end chronic homelessness. In Lawrence, Lily O'Shea Becker, KSHB 41 News.